Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. This is my good friend Mitz. He blows bubbles, and a bubble is nothing more than a thin layer of soap with air trapped inside. And air is a gas, and that's the big idea. What is a gas? Say hello to the crowd, Mitz. What do you notice? Well, the bubbles drop all the way down to the bottom of the tank. Through science, we've discovered that pretty much everything in the universe is either matter or energy. Now, we've talked about other forms of energy, light, heat, sound, and electricity in other videos. Today, it's matter. Through science, we've discovered that matter is made of stuff, and that stuff takes up space. And that stuff could either be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Today, we're going to talk about three types of gases. One type, we make in our body. It's called carbon dioxide. Another type, it's in the air and we need it to live. It's called oxygen. A third type, it's in these balloons. It's called helium. Now, all of those gases, they're different, but they're also alike. They're all clear, we can't see them, and we can't smell them, but they're there. So how do we prove it? Now, all living things, including us, make carbon dioxide. But we can also make carbon dioxide using science. And what we're going to do is combine vinegar and baking soda to create the gas carbon dioxide. But we can't see it or smell it, so how do we tell it's there? That's where my good friend Mitt comes in with his bubbles. So I have a dish of baking soda. And I'm going to pour some vinegar on it to create the gas carbon dioxide. Here we go. I can hear something happening. Carbon dioxide is in the tank. How can I prove that to you? I said carbon dioxide is in this tank, but we can't see it, so how do we prove it's there? Enter my good friend Mitt. Do you remember the last time Mitt blew bubbles into the tank? Well, what did they do? They sank to the very bottom of the tank. I'm gonna have Mitt blow some more bubbles in the tank, and I want you to watch carefully what happens to those bubbles. Take a look at this. Mitt's blowing bubbles, and they're not sinking to the bottom of this tank. Why? It's science. There is a layer of gas, carbon dioxide gas, that's actually keeping those bubbles from hitting the bottom of the tank. Remember I said matter takes up space? Well, this carbon dioxide gas is taking up space in the tank. It's actually keeping the bubbles up off the bottom of the tank. Matter takes up space. It's made of stuff. Keep going, Mitt. And they're still there. There's a layer of carbon dioxide gas. It's taking up space. We're gonna pile the bubbles in. That carbon dioxide gas actually stayed in the tank because it was heavier than air. But there's also a gas that's lighter than air. Check out these balloons. Watch what happens when I push them down. I push them down, they're filled with helium gas. They take up space, they're taking up space in the balloon. But if it's lighter than air, what's gonna happen when I let them go? It should go up. They go up. Gas. You can't see it sometimes, and you can't smell it sometimes, but it's there, and it's matter. It has stuff and it takes up space. Even Mitt knows that. Right, Mitt? That's right. If you want to learn more about gas, check out our links in the video description. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching.